Nigeria is a strange spot. Nigeria. Nigeria? Do you have any country you don't like? Nigeria. One thing which is negative about Nigerians, like, you can never trust them 100%. In Ghana here, we think we are not safe with them. Nigerians. Nigeria. 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 Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. That is if you're not new, if you're new, welcome. My name is Lillian. In this video, I want to take a look at what the world thinks about Nigerians and how Nigerians are defending Nigeria and how they want us to defend Nigeria. Hmm? <laughs> this one, certainly the most hilarious video i have come across in my entire life this is like a case of when when, when you know you have a problem right but rather than dealing with it you go drink alcohol you smoke igbo or is it called marijuana whatever it is called or you take some hard d-r-u-g just to forget your pains and on the process you get addicted to these things and your problem and yourself you both become a mess because it's someone that is sane that can deal with their issues and that is why we should thank god every day i say dear lord i thank you for the gift of a sound mind do you understand sound mind because a lot of people are battling with that and my heart goes out to them so exactly how some nigerians want us to behave we should all get drunk and mask and forget about our problems and when you're done getting drunk you you blame other people for the problem now let's take a look at this nigerian man attempt at cleaning the image of nigeria <laughs> this is definitely the most hilarious of them all let's take a look at this what people think about nigeria Nigeria is a strange spot. Nigeria. Nigeria? Why? I hate Nigeria. Do you have any country you don't like? Nigeria. Do you have any country you like? <laughs> One thing which is negative about Nigerians, like you can never trust them 100%. The truth I will tell you is that Nigeria is really a bad country. If you live in Nigeria, if you are living with a Nigeria person, if you don't take that, you, it might be faster than you in anything at all you do. <laughs> so that, that one low, I don't like about them. In Ghana here, we think we are not safe with them. Nigerians. Nigeria. 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 If you have been seeing my video before, you know that I'm a Nigerian. Today, I want to talk about the reason why many people all over the world have problem with Nigeria or Nigerians. Or let's say, why some people hate Nigerians. Let's assume that this is an African and these are 10 African. Then, this will be 100 African. You see, if you close your eyes at any given moment, and choose 100 Africans, 20 of them will be Nigerians. Yes, there are 54 countries in Africa, but many of these countries are as big as a single state in Nigeria. And this leads us to the very first reason why uh, so many people hate Nigerians, and that is the population of Nigeria versus Africa or even black race. This is the dumbest attempt at covering up, or how do I put this? I'm not blessed that much with English. I schooled in my village, like all the important schools of my life were done in a rural area. It means I get to learn English in school, then when I get home, I go back to my local dialect. So I'm not blessed. I don't know the word to use. I don't know the word to use to describe what this bro is about to do. But let's let's look at it together. To explain what I mean by this, I will need a simple illustration. Let's say this is Mr. White. Uh, Mr. White is a white supremacist uh, who believe that a white man is superior to a black man. So let's assume that Mr. White travel all across the world and in his journey he meets with some black people and because he's a white supremacist he has problem with a whole lot of black people you guess what 10 out of every 50 people mr white has problem with will be nigerian why 
yeah why should okay fine racism no problem let me not defend that because i have not been in that situation before so i don't know how the shoe hurts i've not worn that shoe before so let me not say what i don't know so they are racist let's go so what you find is that this guy is going to hear one name consistently other than any other names of the countries in africa and that name will be nigeria you have to remember this what this tells us is if there is any individual who has problem with black people or let's say if there are people who naturally hate black people such people will have to hate nigerian the reason is simple if you have met five black people in your life you have met one nigerian now let, let's talk about people who don't necessarily hate black people okay even if you are an african as long as you go out every day to meet other africans you are much more likely to meet with a nigerian than with any other black person from any other black nation in africa for example you are 28 times more likely to meet with a nigerian than to meet with let's say a libyan and you are 40 times more likely to meet with a nigerian than to meet with let's say a liberian now the implication of this is in your journey of life even if you are a black person or you are an african you have this higher tendency to meet with a nigerian than to meet with any other human from the african continent and don't forget this people only have problem with the people they meet so if you do not meet for example a liberian you will not have problem with a liberian and since you are very much likely to meet nigerian then you are very much likely to have problem with nigerians then you are very likely to say oh i don't like nigerians or i hate nigerians depending on what <laughs> issues both of you have together but you see there is another reason why anybody all over the world can hate nigeria that gives you a freaky opportunity do you guys on do you know the annoying part about this guy's video the editing is so good the editing is on point and you you kind of think okay it's, it's heading somewhere like and the topic too is amazing but look at how bro is is handling it then tomorrow they'll come and sit down and say we are the smartest and most respected people in africa now like this they they defend arm robber for instance please i mean i don't get it do you understand i don't understand. but let's get entertained because sometimes foolishness is, is, is it you 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 get entertained when people act foolish right when people display stupidity it's kind of really entertaining let's keep getting the entertainment in peace what another reason why a whole lot of people might have problem with nigerians or why some people might hate nigerian is that they are criminals in nigeria but you see there is something most people don't understand about this and that is if you calculate the number of criminals per capita in nigeria you probably will not have more criminals in nigeria than say canada united states or ghana but you see our how any country of the world will be perceived in relation to crime and uh, criminals living in that country is not necessarily by the number or by the effect of the crimes being committed in that country instead it is usually by the nature the nature of the criminals or the nature of the crime being committed in any given country now let me try and explain what i mean and to do this i'm going to divide crime into three you see we have early morning crime afternoon crime and midnight crime Mid 
late night crimes are crimes that are committed in perfect secrecy. Crime of these natures are usually committed by people who are well trained for such crime and because they have so much expertise in this field or in this crime they are committed, most of the times most people in the world don't even know they are criminals. Then why don't our people practice that type? Why don't we practice that type of crime? I mean, they have definition of crimes in my country. More early morning, afternoon, evening crime. Oh, Jesus. So this is what you guys expect me, Lillian, to sit down here and do. This is how to clean up the image of a country. When I never read this shot, but like I said, there is entertainment in stupidity. And let's keep entertaining ourselves on this one. Whoa! Oh, that they are criminals in the country where they are operating from. For example, this guy worked for United States for more than one decade. He worked for U.S. government companies in the U.S. and they specialize in helping those companies and the United States government to steal resources from the poorer nations of the world. I was an economic hitman. We economic hitmen have created a new global economy really a form of capitalism that i call predatory capitalism now the problem about criminals such as this guy is that because i don't have time for this let's jump to the evening or afternoon crime uh, my country has a long freaky way to go and you know what many people like una Unfortunately, most criminals that are known from my country happen to be internet froster. And the problem with internet fraud is that you can easily call it afternoon crime for a few reasons. Uh, reason number one is the guys involved in this crime, they are not the smartest people in the world you can imagine. For example, when I was talking about the midnight crime, I'm talking about crimes that are being committed by people from CIA. Crimes that are being committed by organized criminals. People who are some of the smartest guys in the world. People who know how to carry out crimes. You know what? Let's just go to the crime that he said Nigerians are known for. Let's go to that one because I, I can't take it anymore. At this point, I cannot take it no more. Unfortunately, the criminals in my country are usually average guys on the street, which is the first reason why their crimes cannot be covered. Uh, the second reason is that these guys are doing something that anybody in the world can easily find evidence. For example, if anybody defraud you on the internet, you can easily show the world the emails, the chats, the receipts, the transfer, the communication, and everything. So we can track, we can trace, we can find out that, hey, this woman was defrauded of $100,000. And it happened because a guy from Nigeria did it. Okay, well, you guys text back and forth a lot, right? Yes, sir. And he talks to you a lot. He says things like, um, uh, baby, this is the love of your life. The only man who is always to make you happy. We found out that my little scammer is in Lagos, in Nigeria. He's sending the hard-earned dollars of poor Americans to Nigerian scammers. Somebody's got to get a hold of this guy. Two Nigerian men were charged in a Singapore court today for suspected involvement in transnational internet love scams with victims in Singapore. The way these Nigerian scammers send their fake checks is by recruiting unemployed Americans. These scams seem to originate from Nigeria. 80 people in all were named in the, were named in the indictment, but most of those are overseas in Nigeria. It's the ultimate Nigerian scam. Every single time guys like these are caught, you have negative headline about my country which gives impression that there are more criminals in my country than there are in let's say uh, Canada or United States so far in this video I have tried to share with you some of the reason why a lot of people might have problems with Nigerians or Nigeria uh, one of them is the fact that 
Nigeria dominates the population of the black race, especially Africans. So if you come in contact with five people from the continent of Africa, you have met a Nigerian. So there is this higher tendency that you are going to have problem with a Nigerian than with anybody else from any other country of Africa, which is the number one reason why, you know, when you have conflict frequently with people from particular country, the name of that country keep on coming to your head and you don't know that the reason why the name of that country keep coming to your head is because where well, that country is 20% of the entire continent. Uh, the second reason why a lot of people might have problem with Nigeria or Nigerian is because, yeah, like every other countries of the world, they are criminal in Nigeria. But the kind of crimes being committed in Nigeria is a little different from the kind of crimes that could be committed in, let's say, Russia. I mean, you wouldn't tell me that there are more criminals in Nigeria than you have in Russia. But you might not know Russia with crime because most of the crimes being committed in Russia are organized and you hardly can find evidence of those crimes. So there could not be headline about them attaching those crimes with the country. So unfortunately, uh, the kind of crimes being committed in my country is the kind of crime you can easily trace, track, have evidence for. Then every other week, you can have news headline talking about how a Nigerian defrauded somebody. You see, if you have problem with any of these things I've shared with you, uh, you just have to remember that I am a Nigerian and I am probably saying this because I'm a Nigerian. Maybe this video is an attempt to paint my country in a positive light. So, thanks for watching. To paint my country in a positive light. So, thanks for watching. Please, do, do, how do you seek for asylum in Ghana? Do you have that? I want to seek. Make one help me. I want to seek asylum. I want. I want to um, become a Nigerian. I want to um, become a Nigerian. So this is how we are supposed to clean up the image of our country. Hey, the whole thing about my people with this habit of wanting to clean up the image is the contradiction in it. At first, a lot of our people said they have. They have always been this saying that we are the smartest people in the world. So how come this guy is contradicting that? That if you're not nigerian this is what some nigerians want me to do sit down here and do a video of this sort in the name of cleaning the image of my country ah we got a long way to go and my heart breaks ah, we are not just good with crime we like to defend it we like to make excuses for it ah, at this point i don't know what to say this guy has more videos and if I understand him, is him attempting to silence people? We shouldn't talk about, let me play that. I think I'll do this in another video. Wow, our problem no go few finish. My brothers and sisters of my beloved country. What about that your brother or your sister that is into some illegal act? Why don't we begin from home? That campaign should start from there. It's not coming on the internet to display this kind of, this amount of, sorry to use this word, but that is the only word available for this stupidity in the name of cleaning up image of your country. God, what did I do you? Why do you think it's all right to make me among this type of people? Hmm. So we always talk about population. We talk about lack of unis in, in Nigeria, lack of good structures. We talk about lack of good education structure in my country. You will see my country people that don't live in Nigeria come in to say it's because of population. You talk about the hospitals, they will come and tell you it's because of the population. So what are you supposed to do when you have many kids? You just can't stop having kids because you like born, you born like rats. What are you supposed to do? Is it not to increase the span in my village? When you have a lot of kids, it means bigger farm. So why don't you make everything bigger to accommodate the, 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 the large population? People are making up excuses and it's, it's tiring. It is tiring. Honestly, it is, it is, it is hallelujahly tiring. Ah, oh girl. Anyways, I'm done with this video. I will see you guys in another one. <laughs> Feel free at the comment section, okay?